Good morning, everyone. This assembly is to introduce you to the GCSE for computing. Some of the key overarching aspects of computer science are given here. So if these are things that interest you, this could be a choice for you. Maths is included as GCSE computer science requires an ability to perform calculations. When you go on to do a degree course at top universities, maths will be one of the expected A-levels required. But computer science and programming are creative subjects that require novel ingenuity to solve problems. Most programmers in businesses are now working in teams, so the subject is far more sociable than many people think. The CPU is the brain of any computer, and the design of this is a highly specialised area of computer science and electronic engineering. Although most people have heard of Intel, ARM is one of the major players in chip design, and it's based here in the UK. With more and more devices in the Internet of Things, this demand will only grow. You may have heard of the Raspberry Pi, which also uses an ARM processor. You've probably all seen or heard of drones. At the moment, they're a popular toy, but they have many other uses. Companies like Amazon are currently looking at ways of using drones to make sure our deliveries come to our house quicker. They're also used for farmers to check their fields or their crops or livestock. They're used for checking damage to verify insurance claims. They're even used to check for people that have been caught up in natural disasters, as well as military purposes. Robotics are becoming increasingly prevalent in our lives. Today, they're cleaning our homes, cutting our lawns. We use them for car assembly, sometimes clearing mines in a war zone to save human life. But in the future, they may well be used in nursing homes to assist with care as well as analysing data. To make a robot, you need to have a good understanding of how computers work and how to programme them. We all use the World Wide Web and although it's three decades old, its growth is still expected to be phenomenal in the future. Computer science students are needed to be able to think up initiative ideas and compete with the largest companies in the world. The way we use technology, and since the web was invented, has really been a game changer for e-commerce. Online shopping was worth 1 trillion in 2014. It's already grown to 4.2 trillion in 2021, and this is just gonna keep growing. If you want to know how it works, this could be a subject for you. Some of you might have been introduced to augmented reality when you were walking around trying to find Pokemon. However, in the future, it is likely that more functional uses will appear. This has already started to happen in aircraft and cars, but in the future, augmented reality is likely to be used in even more initiative ways. Computer science is one of the best routes into entrepreneurship. It is possible to take a concept and start a business with no investment and just one home computer. Of the top 10 wealthiest people in the world, so many have started in IT and had a firm grasp of programming. This is one example on the screen, but if you think about the second richest man in the world, Jeff Bezos, estimated at about 112 billion pound, he founded Amazon in his garage. You've got Bill Gates, co-founder of Microsoft, founded this with his friend Paul Allen. Mark Zuckerberg, co-founder of Facebook, with his student roommates while he was at university. The, end, the list goes on and on, but they are all worth a lot of money now. The UK has a strong history of computer games that is still thriving to this day. Similar talent is also used in our TV and film industries. Historically, the UK has also been strong in producing computers. The BBC Micro, Sinclair, Amstrad, to name a few. And you might be surprised to see that some of these games that are really, really popular globally were made right here in the UK. All of these people had computer science behind them. 
These are just a few of the major international companies present in the UK and looking for bright new talent. There is currently a huge demand for people with computer science and IT skills, especially in programming, cybersecurity and graphic design. And in 2022 in the UK, these are some of the most in demand jobs. This is only going to increase. So let's talk about the GCSE. We currently use the OCR GCSE in computing. This is assessed through two external exams and each exam is worth 50% of your overall grade. This GCSE will equip you with a range of transferable practical and theoretical skills. Programming in a modern language, we currently use Python but there are many opportunities to learn other languages. It gives you an understanding of how computers and networks work and of basic knowledge of cybersecurity and how hackers attack systems. There are fantastic opportunities for those who wish to study and excel in computer science. Everybody today is a consumer of products that use these skills, but it takes somebody special to have the joy of producing the products these people use. So how do you feel about joining computer science at GCSE? Will you make the next big app, perhaps? Or perhaps you'll get a career in one of these. But remember, as technology is forever changing, so are job roles. And the career that you end up with might not even have been made yet. What you have to remember is the GCSE computer science isn't just about programming. It's having an awareness of how computers work. But even more importantly than that, it gives you the skills for problem solving, which you might not end up in a career in this field, but these are skills that you will need in every future career. So the world needs you to help develop the future. By taking this GCSE, it will help you. If you have any other questions, you can always come and see me in B3 or email me, Miss Kiss, and I am happy to have a conversation with you or to answer any questions you have. Hopefully, I'll see you next year.